Ningatho mwiroreri wa Mosbis TV ni gucoka guku na gukorwo ukirorera video citu. Ningatho ni are ma subscribe na wita subscribe ite nka kuyoya na gitio. Kindly mix on wa subscribe or like na dokarira nuru ni gutano notification bell. Kedare are all the to no horo mweru kana ndumiriri njeru igakorwo igikukinyira. So the reason I was always asking a parent how old is your child is because at the age of 6 right after my dad died in the bomb blast that happened in Nairobi in 1998 I was sexually abused I was raped and the person who did this was not far from our family it's somebody whom I considered an uncle he, he really is an uncle and their home was not far from our home it was just one homestead away from my home and I never thought, well, as a child, you can never even think anything like that would happen. But I always felt safe in their home because they had everything I thought I had from my previous home, from my previous life. See, when my dad was alive, he was a well-to-do man. So we had everything. Our lives were going well. I was born with a silver spoon in my mouth. I'm grateful to God for that. But when he died, everything turned around. And we went back to my maternal uh, grandmother home. And life was not like the way it was at my, my father and my mother's home. So the only thing that came close to what I was used to was this uncle's place. Their home now. Uh, they were rich. They had a good home. And as I'm saying this, most of my village people already are getting to know who the person is i'm not doing this video to shame anybody or anything um i'm just here to share this side of my story to encourage because i realized most women are mostly abused when they were young and to some extent the society makes them feel like it was their fault it, it was your fault and i also also the devil plays in a role in that making them feel ashamed and even when they don't even know what really happened to them they are uh, they die slowly inside they die pole pole this was my case they even never know how to express themselves you see when a woman or even a, a man i understand that nowadays <laughs> it has got really bad when a man or a woman experiences a sexual molestation in their life especially when they are young something is stolen from them this a certain of innocence there's a certain of feeling a right that is taken away from them without their consent. And that is the worst thing you can ever do to any human being. Taking away a right that it's theirs. Even though at that point they will not understand what you have done. When they grow up and they realize what you exactly did to them. That guilt and that hurt never leaves their heart. And... Of course, you know, I ran to God uh, my life because I never had a dad and now um, I cannot trust a man. And I will tell you when it happened. I won't go into the details of what exactly happened because I am not here to crucify anyone. But when it happened, the second man who was also in my life, <laughs> who was also supposed to protect me as I, as young as he was, when he realized what had happened to me, he locked me in his cubicle and beat the hell out of me. He beat me so bad with, with his belt and he really wanted me to reveal who did that to me. And looking back, because he was young, maybe that is where his knowledge had reached. But now because he's all grown up, I, I look at him and I keep wondering, because he has a young daughter, I keep wondering, what if somebody does that to your daughter? Would you, would you do that? Would you, how would you react? Would you beat your daughter? And if, if the answer is yes, then that is such a wrong answer. You should not beat a rape victim because you're adding another wound. Now, this goes without saying that my relationship with men 
became very sore. Uh, I I didn't want anything to do with any man except God. <laughs> And I think I was happy because I didn't know whether the gender of God at that point. And um, because I think if I got to know that he was a man, I would also have ran away from him. Because just think this, the only man I knew as my father is my dad is dead. He has left me. And after he has left, my life has turned around and we have gone to poverty living. And now... The uncle who is old enough has molested me sexually. The other man who is also in my life has beaten the hell out of me because of being molested. Now, these are the three men that I was in constant um, relationship with when I was young. So that goes without saying I hated the male gender with all my heart i detested any person who'd wear a trouser and um i believe that was the aim of the devil from the beginning because he knew my ministry ahead and you know let me tell you something you know you might say that um we usually blame the devil and all that but let me tell you why i think that that is is because going to the bible days the people who knew that Jesus has been born were not the Christians, were not the people who are waiting, not Christians, Christians were not then, are not the people who are told that the Messiah is coming. The people who first got to know that Jesus has been born and they saw the star, they practiced magic. And it's funny because God allowed them to know that. But the reason they knew is because they knew how to study stars and to know when a certain person has been born. Now, this thing happened until now. Yes, even into our days, it still happens. And the devil knows when you are born and you are star and where God has destined you. See, everyone is born with a certain star in their lives. You are not in this universe for nothing. And so when they see a star, they see your star has appeared, they run with it from the day you are born. Their main mandate is to bring that star down. So I believe my destiny is great and that's why. And also another thing I also realized that every woman that was mentioned in the genealogy of Jesus had a sexual something related to their life. Look at Rehab. She was a prostitute. What do you call that? Look at the Uriah's wife. You know, she had a sexual scene with David, which she did not bring about her life. She was called by the king. So, but she's still in the genealogy of Jesus. You see, all the women who are closely related with Jesus, they had sex connotation in their story. So this encourages me in a way. It doesn't make me feel like I'm less of a vessel in God's kingdom. If anything, it encourages me and tells me that the devil tried to fight my life or with my star from the beginning, even before I knew who I was. So uh, why am I telling you this? I am telling you this to tell you the journey that I have come so far and how you can use it because I believe you might be watching this video and you are among the people or you are a lady or you are a young person and you have really been struggling with either sexual sin or you have been molested in your life, whether when you are young or whether you, when you are old.